nice music once we get outside. And uh, yeah, we'll keep on working on our rifles now that we killed enough. All right, talk to our friends. You've earned the artifacts. Go, reach the unity. All right, on the victory. We'll uh, have a little powwow with everyone before we go. I see Vasco dutifully waiting outside the ramp. That's the only way I could really tell where the ramp even was in this thing. I'm used to it being mounted on the front. A moment, Captain. Oh, what's up, Vasco? It appears Constellation's current mission is at its end. It is customary to offer congratulatory statements. And you deserve plenty of praise yourself, Vasco. Thank you. If I were sentient, I am sure I would be feeling a great sense of pride and increased social connectivity to you. I hope the process of becoming Starborn is done without causing any physical trauma. But given the unknown physiological requirements of crossing universes, that seems unlikely. Thanks for the vote of confidence. You always know how to end on a positive note. I am told that is the best way to deliver potentially upsetting news if we do not see each other again. Goodbye, Captain. From a statistical standpoint, you have been an unusually effective member of this team. Well, thank you. Sarah? Well, you have all the artifacts. Me too, sure. We should talk. Indeed. Like much. So this is it. This armillary can finally be assembled, and the Starborn are sure that something will happen on the other side. Something that will make us like them. Funny. I thought after all this time I'd be screaming in excitement to jump into the unknown, but I feel like I'm hesitating. Yeah, it's only natural, really. This is Constellation's greatest mission. I know that. And believe me, I feel it. The destiny of it all. But after that, what happens? Say we go to the Unity, become Starborn, enter another universe. Will there even be a constellation there? It won't be ours, even if it is. Yeah, constellation is wherever we are. I'm gonna keep exploring, no matter what. I really turned you into a true believer, didn't I? Oh. What have I done? Ah, all right, let's get back to it. One more jump into the unknown. Indeed. Heck of a thing we pulled off. Coming up on the end of a long ride here. We got all the artifacts. Are you ready for what comes next? Might not see each other on the other side. Yeah, we have to risk it. It's what we do. I know. Just bracing for it. Hey, listen, uh... You're probably wondering about Korra. I played it over in my head a thousand times, and I've made up my mind. She's coming with. Good deal! I know what everyone's gonna say, but even if I told her no, she'd find some way on board that ship. And if we stayed behind, we'd both regret it. Yep, can't keep a co out of an adventure. I'm sure plenty of the others won't like it, and I'll be worried like no tomorrow if we don't end up in the same place. But I gotta keep telling myself that Cora's ready for this. And hey, same goes for you. If we don't see each other on the other side, it's been, uh, <laughs> all worth it. Yeah, man. Vax. Yeah, Cora. I can't wait to get to the Unity. I've been reading all about parallel universe theory, and I'm so ready to meet another version of me. You think it's okay if I call them Korra too? They might be calling you Korra too, and I'm sure your work is something out. I'll have to check all my charts and double check all the locking mechanisms and see what kind of differences there are in the next universe. You know, in case we get into the kind of trouble we always do. That's Look, forward thinking. Dad said that there's a chance we might all get separated after we go to the Unity. You don't think that's going to happen, do you? It might, but it's a it's a big risk. That's what Dad said. I feel kind of bad, you know? That I want to go anyway. I'm sure gonna miss the lodge. But I can't wait to see what happens next. Well, here she is, the Amillary. 
Add artifacts. All right. One last jump. All right. Orbit. And I, uh, suppose anywhere we want to go, eh? see why the Starborn uh, were after this thing. Ooh. All right. So, uh, is uh, this Unity? Hi, me. You made it. I hope you're enjoying the view. I never get tired of staring at it. Eternity. You? You're me! A thought occurs. Can anyone ever truly experience reality outside oneself? All of time and space filters through a singular perspective. I am as much you as you are part of everything. All points connect to here. When a star is born or dies, its existence beats through the heart of this place, the Unity. I have seen all you are, have been, and could be. Do you feel like you've lived a good life? Is there anything you regret? I mean, we all have regrets, if we're honest anyway. Fair. I wonder what your decision will be then. In order to become Starborn, you must give the universe one last thing. Yourself. That intangible part of you, that something that makes you unique amongst the infinite, will explode like a supernova. A part of you will fuse with the essence of this universe, while another part leaves it behind forever. Do you understand what I mean? This one final leap will change this universe forever. Even as you leave it behind. Yeah, so the artifacts, temples, armillary, who created them and why? Unknowingly, you just answered your own questions. For who creates things but creators? That is what they have been named throughout the endless circle of time. Creators. Are they one or many? Human or alien? Terrestrial or celestial. One day, you might even meet the creators. But not this day. Oh, crap. As for the why, so that you could ask that very question. So that you could stand before me for time immemorial and delve into the mysteries of the unending cosmos. Yeah, so this is kind of a death. Much like the death of a star creating new kinds of matter, so will part of your being become fused with the unity itself. That part is what becomes starborn and crosses into the multiverse. Through your eyes, it will be as if waking up from a dream. Oh, that's not bad. Walk into the gate of light, and you will become starborn. Everything will vanish, and you will awaken somewhere else. But, that isn't your only potential destiny. You could turn around, walk away from the Unity until the stars fade away, and you will wake up on your ship, in your universe. You could live out the life you have. I've enjoyed speaking to you once again. All of you. Every version that is here in the Unity right now. Go out into the stars. That's gotta be a lot of me. Well, Lisa? As you consider stepping towards infinity, I offer you a glimpse into what will happen to the universe you may be leaving, as the essence of who you are is spread throughout space and time. So the possible, uh, possible endings then. So what, what in the gravy's going on over here? 
The Emissary remains in this universe, but your faith in them inspires them to seek out those they believe are worthy of finding the Unity. Many noble Starborn will be reborn under their guidance. Oh, nice! That sounds like a good deal. What about Constellation? The Constellation membership who stays behind Will in time publish their data about the discovery of the artifacts, Starborn, and the Unity. Space exploration across the settled systems is given new life as people search for hope out there in the stars. Nice! Good deal. And Andresia? Your Tell lover, me she's okay? Andresia, eventually chooses to be reborn herself. Your commitment to each other bolsters all relationships in the settled systems. Marriages blossom, more people in House Varun begin to question its orthodoxy and look to the outside world. All right. And the Crimson Fleet? Your work with UC Sistef against the Crimson Fleet is a triumph of law over greed. The UC establishes greater security throughout the settled systems. Travelers throughout the stars will be safer. Well, crap. I did a pretty good job then. Yeah. All right. Unity it is. So, uh... Waking up from a dream, then. Will you leave this universe behind? A new universe awaits you. Who will you be in this one? What choices will you make? A lot more different, I would say. Just to see what happens. Take a look at us! Starboard, eh? Is this our ship? Alright, power up. We don't have a whole lot of shields or engines. I mean, we might as well put the rest of that power in the grab drive then, surely. And, uh, what are we off to do? Alpha Centauri it is, then. Attention, unidentified vessel. You have no faction markings or a registered manufacturer. Nope. Please maintain course while we scan you. Assuming scans even work on whatever it is you're flying. Exactly. We'll see. Alright. We're done. You're cleared to land at New Atlantis. Oh, the, the folks at the lodge are gonna go nuts. Bet these people ain't never seen nothing like me. That's right, New Atlantis, I am here, again. Yeah, what do y'all think about that? Whoa, now that is a ship. Yeah, you like it? So, uh, this ship of yours, does it take standard 
Uh, you know what? We'll figure it out. Yeah, let's uh, modify it. See what we've got here on this sure. thing. How about it? All right, so it's just an A. Of course, but uh, yeah, there's nothing these guys can do to get that done. Or we've got the EO Frontier. <laughs> Missiles, ballistics, and a little better engine, but uh, yeah, our grab drive is pretty good. Double the shields, double the uh, distance, double the crew. All right, so not a bad start, I must say. Although we're broke as a joke, and literally all we're wearing, all we have, <laughs> is our Starborn spacesuit. Yeah, it'd be nice to get some civvies, but uh, let's head to the lodge and uh, see I can assure you this attack on if they remember us. So last time, Barrett gave me the watch to get in here. And this time around, no Barrett. So we'll see if the lodge opens up to me. Hi, Sarah. Excuse me, this is a private. Wait, there's something familiar about you. Aha! Uh -huh. Roscoe, identify. Scanning. Cross-referencing known employee records of our affiliated organizations. Please remain still. This appears to be the miner from Argos Extractors. Lost as we were carrying the artifact from Vectera. Current whereabouts previously unknown. Well, I'm here now. Vosco already delivered the artifact. So, why are you showing up now? Well, see, I'm not who you think. I'm Starborn. I know what the artifacts already are. You're a... I see. So some of our theories about the artifacts are correct. You're taking their word for it? What if this person's just delusional? Breathe in too many gases in that mining operation. Why don't we hear her out? We know next to nothing. We have everything to gain if she's telling the truth. All right, let's hear it. So the Starborn hunt for artifacts across each multiverse, each hoping to be the one that constructs the armillary. So, that's what we're looking for. The pieces to an armillary. A path to the center of a multiverse. This is either the truth or the most elaborate practical joke I've ever witnessed. I think we're past the point of doubting, Walter. In any event, we'll be able to see for ourselves. We know where most of the artifacts are now, and presumably how we get them. There are artifacts I pulled out of bedrock myself, ones that granted visions. And if what you've told us about the Starborn is to be believed, we'll need all the help we can get. I want you to check with Vladimir on the eye. Cross-reference what you've told us with what he's picking up on the scans. You track down the artifacts the Eye finds, while we gather the others. So you might not be the same, Sarah, but it's still good to see you. I... I hope that other Sarah of yours knows you're safe. Now let's get those artifacts. nice little payout here so now we have our cutter and our assassins refined equinox ah, that's not gonna be good we're gonna have to uh, fix that and do we get our constellation guide again yes we do well it is customary to say welcome home that is not dimensionally accurate in this case I'm able to pick up from you are unprecedented you really are something. Thanks, Noel. All right, Mateo's room. Ah, my room, just as I left it. Storage case is empty though, but my favorite chair's still here. Then I know you didn't have to tell us everything about the artifacts. We won't let this knowledge go to waste. I appreciate that, but can I get some shut eye? It's been a long trip. Noel, I know my armor is uh, pretty unique but you don't have to stare. Don't you Make have something home. else you could- I think you already know where everything is. I do, and I know this is my room. So, uh, 
yeah, maybe I have to do the thing where I uh, stand up from my chair and say, well, well, I guess I gotta get going. It's been uh, a long time, so Even the trace yeah. Physiological and neurological readings I'm able to pick up from you are unprecedented. I know. Really All right, off to bed. Lock the door. I'm getting some sleep. Ah! Listen. So apparently I found the universe where Noel won't leave me alone, but I will leave this here, everyone. So that's it. Our adventure has come to its end, and we saw one universe, and I'll probably poke through the other universes, uh, especially now that we're starborn, uh, on my own, and uh, just hope that Noel doesn't follow me everywhere I go. But thank you again so much for tuning in. Like, share, and subscribe if you are so bold, and I hope you'll join me for what other series I can get into going forward. Take care.